1v1 quick where little sweet text, the heavenly realm moon elder temple holds its annual red thread competition, where only the top performing in turn lunar elder can become a full dot time employee. As a non-chieftain, Jinai was successfully assigned to the most difficult error correction department. Looking at the messy red line on her hand, Jina sighed and set out on the path of error correction with the system. What? Are you a reborn daughter? Sorry, you are not the destined person for the marriage. What? Are you the inexplicable white moonlight disappearing? Sorry, the enemy from heaven is no match for bamboo horses. While she worked diligently to achieve results and caused a sensation in the small world, she didn't know when she had a follower behind her. Jina. What are you doing with me? Shanlu. Let me give you a hand. Jinai pondered for a moment and felt that having a younger brother was also good. Focusing solely on performance, quirky and adorable versus cunning and clinging to human spirit tips. I have been dedicated to sweet writing for a hundred years without wavering. The main focus is on the romantic relationship between male and female leads, and I am cautious about the plot and the intricacies. Easy sweet text, sugar tube full, sweet text enthusiasts please come in. Keywords of the novel Host wants to be a big shot today without pop-ups, host wants to be a big shot today. Download the complete text, host wants to be a big shot today. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1 The Zombie King is my younger brother one. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 The Zombie King is my younger brother 1 How about it? Are there any zombies in the supermarket? No, hurry in, we need to hurry up. Surprisingly, there's still bread. In a small supermarket, several psychics were excitedly searching for surviving supplies. Now is the third year of the outbreak of the apocalypse. Since a sudden virus swept across the world, countless people have become mindless monsters overnight. However, in just two months, humanity has officially entered the apocalypse. Later, experts referred to infected individuals as zombies. In order to survive, humans have also evolved new abilities in this disaster, and a few people are a low-dot-level team of superpowers. Everyone quickly emptied the supermarket and was checking for any missing supplies when suddenly they heard a faint noise. A few people paused and looked cautiously towards the place where the sound was coming from. Just as one of them was about to take action, the leader suddenly spoke up. Wait a minute. The other party looked over in confusion and asked with a tone of air. What's wrong, Brotherly? The person known as Brotherly frowned and bravely took a step forward to the shelf. It doesn't seem like a zombie. Upon hearing him say this, a group of people instinctively looked over here, but their weapons remained in their hands. This is a corner of the supermarket, where several shelves have collapsed, barely supporting a small space. A thick layer of ash has accumulated on the cardboard boxes. He slowly uncovered the cardboard pressing on top and threatened in a low voice. What kind of person, come out? In a quiet environment, the cardboard trembled when someone hit it, and then a furry head emerged. She is a young girl, wearing short-sleeved shorts, revealing a large expanse of porcelain white skin with some dust on her body. She looks delicate and gentle, with a pair of round eyes that look a bit confused at them. Her lips are red and teeth are white, and she has a slight baby fat. The hair on the collarbone was disheveled, probably blocking the line of sight. The little girl casually pinned it behind her ear, revealing her fair and full earlobes, which were very cute. After seeing her face clearly, Li Ji's eyes flashed with a hint of shock, and then he became wary again. Have you been here all this time? Being able to stay clean in the apocalypse, it doesn't seem to have suffered much, at least there is a high dot level superpower around. If this supermarket is the other party's base, then they thinking of this, Li Ji's eyes flickered, and his hand hanging beside him calmly gathered his powers, intending to take the initiative first. Those who can survive peacefully in the apocalypse are not those who are soft-hearted, and it is common for people to sacrifice their lives in order to compete for resources. 
If only one side can live, then this little girl cannot stay. Gina shook her head and realized the situation before her, so she nodded honestly. Seeing them frowning and looking guarded one by one, the little girl tilted her head as if she had noticed something and asked with some confusion. Do you want to kill me? Upon hearing such a sentence, Brotherly hesitated and looked at her with suspicion. Is it possible that she is also a superpower? A young man looked at her and couldn't help but lean in his elder brother's ear to persuade her. Brother, why don't we just leave? We've almost moved the supplies, and she doesn't seem to pose a threat. Lee glanced at him without saying a word, only thinking to himself about something. After such a while, Jinai had already climbed out of the shelf and was seriously patting the dust on her clothes. If they don't leave, why don't she leave? She doesn't like this place, it's too dirty. Just as I jumped off, I was stopped by a few people on my way. If you can't accept the post-apocalyptic treasure and still don't like it after reading a few chapters, you can skip the first world without affecting your reading, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 the Zombie King is my younger brother too. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 The Zombie King is my younger brother too Li Gu held a weapon on his waist with one hand, and his expression was serious. Are you sure there are no other psychics nearby? Are these items all yours? Smelling the musty smell emanating from the air, Jina wrinkled her nose and answered quite decisively. Are you saying those things? I don't want them. Dot. For some reason, several big men choked for a moment before finally looking at her with a complex gaze. Before the apocalypse, nitpicking was not a big deal, but now it's like this, and she still looks delicate. I don't know if she's brainless or foolish. Lee's mouth twitched, only giving her a last glance before turning around and beckoning others to continue moving things. Let's see if there's anything left behind. We're ready to withdraw. Everyone responded and dispersed to inspect. He was about to leave when he saw this, but found that the little girl standing in front of him had no intention of leaving. Gina thought for a moment and looked up in thought. Did you just want to take action on me? Dot. Seeing him acquiesce, the little girl exclaimed, nodded to herself, and then raised her hand to grab his arm. Li Gu instinctively wanted to break free, but in the next second, he was hit by a beautiful over-shoulder throw, his gaze spinning around, and he finally hit the ground hard. Hiss. He curled up in pain, completely unable to resist. When the others rushed over at the sound, they saw their elder brother lying on the ground with a painful expression, while a little girl stood on the side, her fair and soft face inexplicably showing a hint of handsomeness. Gina blinked and obediently explained. This is because he just wanted to take action on me, and now we're clear. After speaking, he swaggered away, leaving a group of people looking at each other. You guys are here to help me. Brother. Here we go. Listening to the gradually weakening communication behind her, Gina, who had just walked out of the store, nodded in satisfaction. She has control so that there won't be any problems. Seeing no one around her, the light ball that had been pretending to be dead emerged from her side, and her tone was very broken. Lord Jinai. How could you have just hit someone as soon as you arrived? You would have been detected by the heavenly way. The little girl lowered her head as it murmured, kicking the stone under her feet and muttering. Got it, got it. Their murderous intentions were too obvious, and they were not prepared to leave supplies for her. The consequences of a little girl staying here without eating or drinking can be imagined. She just gave a small lesson. Seeing her like this, Guantuan fell silent for a moment before suddenly holding back a sentence. You will have your performance deducted like this. Gina. She widened her eyes and looked over, a bit shocked. What are you saying? Although he knew that his adult was only focused on becoming a full-time employee, when she looked at him like this, Guantuan still felt a bit hesitant and immediately changed his mind. I won't do it this time, but adults, you can't do it again next time. Even if they are allowed to come down from the heavenly realm, 
they must abide by the rules of the heavenly way here after arriving in the small world, otherwise it is easy to collapse the small plane. Jinao let out an exclamation and muttered in a very low voice. I'm already constrained, what else can I do? The clever choice of this light group shifts the topic. Sir, do you want to receive the memory now? Jinao looked left and right, and finally found a relatively clean stone to sit down with a slightly serious expression. Let's get started. The Heavenly Realm Moon Elder Temple held its annual Red Thread competition, and only the top performing in turn Lunar Elder could become a full dot time employee. Unfortunately, Jinao was assigned to the most difficult error correction department. This is the first world she has arrived in. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 The Zombie King is my younger brother 3. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 The Zombie King is my younger brother 3 in this world, the male protagonist is the strongest superpower in the northern base, while the female protagonist is an ordinary person with space. During a mission, the male protagonist encounters an injured female protagonist and takes her with him. After experiencing a series of events, the two successfully fall in love and lead all humanity to end the apocalypse. This is the original ending of this world. However, now a reborn woman has appeared. She knows what will happen in the future, so she sneaks into the female lead's team in advance, takes the opportunity to hook up with the male lead, and takes away the life that originally belonged to the female lead. Later, Due to unease, the design pushed the female protagonist into a zombie heap, ultimately leading to the female protagonist's mutation and the virus not being destroyed, ultimately leading to the end of the world. The reason why male and female protagonists are called male and female protagonists is because they are favored by this heavenly way, and their actions will affect the direction of the world. After being destroyed, the development of things becomes unpredictable. Jinai arrived at a relatively early time when the reborn daughter had just infiltrated the team. After failing to inquire about the female lead space, she began to use small means to isolate her. After receiving all the memories, Jinai blinked and extended her little hand. As the bright white light dissipated, a messy ball of thread appeared in her palm, one of which was most prominent. Her fingertips moved, and the bright red silk thread suddenly appeared in the air, flying in all directions. The first line falls in the north, which is the location of the male lead. The second line flies towards the west, connecting the female lead. The third line is slightly darker and extends upwards towards the two lines, tangled and tangled. Gina followed her gaze, her soft white face serious. How long will it take me to find it? The light cluster timely projects its positioning into the air. It's a bit far from you. Based on the estimated distance, it will take about two days by car. Two days she withdrew her hand, the ball of thread in the air disappeared instantly, and then touched her belly, deciding to go find something to eat first. Tuanzi, where can I find food? Guantuan endured and couldn't resist whispering back. Sir, my name is not Tuanzi, my name is Ruanbai. As he spoke, it had already proficiently marked the map and obviously didn't expect the little girl to listen. Gina blinked her eyes and remained silent. She looked at it with round eyes and muttered to herself, it's just a ball, how fitting it is to be called a ball. Leaving the area of the store, a strong stench suddenly spread out, and the streets were lined with ruins and foul-smelling corpses. The entire sky was gloomy, making people feel uncomfortable subconsciously. Gina wrinkled her nose, looked up at the sky, and looked around again, pondering whether she should go find the male lead first. After all, where should the male lead live in the base? Sleeping on the street or something, the little girl is still a bit accepting and incompetent. Thinking of this, Gina lifted her foot and changed direction. The next second, the light cluster following her spoke softly. Sir, are you sure you don't want to rescue the female lead? If the reborn woman takes action early and the female lead gets infected with the virus, your mission will fail. After speaking, he silently added. Moreover, the female lead still has space, 
so there's no need to worry about the ingredients spoiling or searching for supplies at any time. Jinai paused and her soft white face quickly wrinkled into a ball. Seeing her entangled, Guantuan didn't speak anymore, but silently followed her aside. When it comes to what the adults of their family care about, their performance ranks first, and their desire for food comes in second. When they are in the heavenly realm, they always go to other female immortals for a meal. Unfortunately, the person looked cute and innocent, and no one could refuse, so everyone agreed to this matter. End of this chapter Chapter 4 The Zombie King is my younger brother for You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5 The Zombie King is my younger brother 5 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 The Zombie King is my younger brother 5 The person sitting in the passenger seat scrambled out of the car and gave up their seat to the little girl. Before leaving, they still looked at their boss's waist with a deep and meaningful gaze. Li Gu He jumped his forehead, feeling for the first time that his teammate was so unreliable. In such a strange atmosphere, Jina climbed up without being affected at all, and happily shook her calves, praising her. This car is quite comfortable to sit in. The person who had just squeezed into the back row quickly answered the conversation, secretly poking and inquiring. Of course, this car is something we finally managed to grab. No, we found it, little sister. Are you also a superpower? Gina blinked her eyes and nodded. According to the setting of this world, it's not wrong to say it's a superpower. So everyone exchanged a tacit look, increasingly recognizing her as a high dot level superpower. I just didn't see it with my own eyes, so I still have some doubts about her small figure, especially the several big men who were forced to huddle together. It's inevitable that some people feel frustrated in their hearts. However, this emotion comes and goes quickly. Because on the next day's journey, Jinai showed them what it means to punch a zombie. As night approached, the already dark sky appeared even more gloomy, with only the headlights emitting a faint light, invisibly adding a sense of terror. A few big men stood by the car, looking not far away with a creepy expression on their faces. They probably stabbed the nearby zombie stronghold, gathering at least twenty of them, all lying on the ground in disarray, with corpses piled up in a small mountain. A slender figure squatted next to it, looking a white and tender ball, and was now earnestly reaching out to dig out the crystal nucleus in the other person's mind. The stench of zombies mixed with decaying organs, and even the crowd couldn't hold on to this scene. A young man couldn't help but retch twice, then covered his nose and closed his mouth. Um, are children like this now? Isn't it, but didn't she still dislike the moldy supplies this morning and refuse to take them? Compared to this scene, it's obvious that the little witch sees the big witch. Hey! Jinai was unaware of the incompetence and rage of the few people, as she temporarily let Tuanzi block her sense of smell. However, even so, she still frowned and quickly and carefully pulled out the crystal nuclei one by one. After solving the last one, Jina breathed a long sigh of relief and turned her head to avoid looking directly at the scene in front of her. Tuanzi! Guan Tuan emerged very consciously, carefully helping her wash her hands and crystal nucleus clean. After obtaining the crystal nucleus, Jinai quickly moved away from the zombie pile and lifted it to look at the light, nodding somewhat satisfied. Seeing her slowly put away the crystal nucleus, Guan Tuan asked curiously. Sir, why are you collecting this? After all, the adults in their family are not real superpowers, so there is no need to rely on this upgrade. Gina shook her head and spoke with a very grandiose demeanor. Guess what? Dot. After finishing the task, I also fell asleep. She yawned a little, then packed her things and walked back. Just as I took two steps, my blocked sense of smell suddenly became ineffective, and my body suddenly stiffened. A group of big men saw her suddenly widen their eyes, and then silently ran away, not knowing whether to breathe fresh air or become autistic. A few people looked at each other with a bewildered expression on their faces. 
someone urged. Did you see the big shot pulling out something just now? Why don't we go take a look too? The person turned his head to look at the scene not far away, his words cold and heartless. If you have the ability, go. Let's forget about it then. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Zombie King is my younger brother 6. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 The Zombie King is my younger brother 6 Finally, Li Guk coughed and spoke. Her abilities are very strong, and she has a lot of cards to play with. She should be careful when getting along. All right, if she has nothing to do, she can go around and see where she can stay overnight. Okay big brother. With this incident, in the following interactions, everyone unconsciously breathed a sigh, afraid that she would remember the past and settle accounts with them, living a harmonious life. Until she was sent to the place two days later, a group of people felt relieved. Jinai had just jumped out of the car and wanted to politely greet them when she heard a loud roar. When I looked back again, all I saw was car exhaust. She blinked in confusion. Did my bodyguard fail to meet the standards? The light cluster following her flickered, unsure if she wanted to tell her the truth. Fortunately, the little girl didn't get tangled up either. She just touched the tip of her nose in frustration and then pulled out the map to head in the direction of the female protagonist. Well, the task is the most important. On the other side. Dozens of zombies roared softly as they slowly surrounded the center of the valley. There was a small team gathered there, with several members vigilantly watching them, firmly guarding a girl in a skirt behind her. You see Hue tightly grabbed the corner of the man beside her, her voice faintly tinged with tears. Chen Yi, while there are not many zombies, hurry up and leave. My abilities are useless, so stay here to attract them. I will try my best to buy time for you. Thank you very much for this time. Chen Yi felt heartbroken as she listened to her words, so she quickly placed her in her arms and comforted her with a few words. Fool, how could we possibly leave you, walk together, die together? Others quickly spoke up and agreed. Yes, sister. If you want to stay, Jiang Nan will also stay. Upon hearing these words, Yu Si Hue quickly shook her head and didn't forget to emphasize her ordinary identity. No, we can't leave her behind. Without her abilities, staying behind would be a dead end. The zombie is coming over, everyone be careful, don't worry about me. A few people looked over in panic upon hearing the words, only able to give her a warning before moving forward to fight, while the thought flashed uncontrollably in their hearts. Seeing them leave, Yu Sihue, who was surrounded in the middle, restrained her expression and turned to look at the end of the team with pride and joy. Jiang Nan, who was being watched by her, had a moment of desolation in his eyes, but then he gave her a blank glance and picked up his baseball bat to fight against nearby zombies. As time went on, everyone gradually became exhausted and their abilities were almost non-existent. One of them gritted their teeth and thought of the proposal just now. They quickly glanced in the direction of Jiang Nan and then spoke to the others. No, there are too many zombies. If we continue like this, we will also die. When we lead the zombies to Jiang Nan's place, hurry up and get on the car. It's not up to us that she can survive until now, and we don't owe her anything. The others looked at each other and nodded. So in the following battle, everyone slowly moved towards Jiang Nan's direction. Yu Sihue hooked her lower lip and quickly went to pull on Chen Yi with concern. Chen. Jiang Nan is also your junior sister, isn't it too cruel for us to do this? Chen Yi remained silent for a moment, but ultimately agreed to their proposal. Sisi, for the sake of everyone, we can only choose to sacrifice her. I know you're kind, but now it's the end of the world. And she doesn't have any special abilities, something will happen sooner or later. Don't think too much about it. Yu Sihue bit her lip and let out a sigh, then turned around to persuade him. After a while, the two of them hugged each other. This side is affectionate, while Jiang Nan's heart is cold over there. 
She struggled to avoid the zombie's attack and watched as several people nearby gritted their teeth, feeling angry. Do you intentionally lure zombies towards me? End of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Zombie King is my younger brother 7. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 The Zombie King is my younger brother 7 Seeing her, everyone glanced at her and took out the prepared broken hand to throw at her, then quickly withdrew and ran away. Zombies have a very sensitive sense of smell for raw meat, and when they smell it, they go crazy and rush towards Jiang Nan's direction. Others took the opportunity to run into the car. Jiang Nan watched this scene coldly until she was about to be surrounded by zombies, then closed her eyes. A tear slipped from the corner of her eye, and then she clenched her weapon in her hand. Just as she thought she would be torn to pieces, a soft and urgent voice suddenly rang in her ear. Hey! No way! Jiang Nan's expression was shocked for a moment, and she instinctively looked over there. A little girl is running down the slope, facing her in the right direction. I don't know if it was because I was in a hurry, but in the last few steps, I didn't step firmly, and my whole body rolled down the slope with a rumbling sound, falling all the way to her side. In order to attract the zombies to her, the group of people forced her to a corner of the valley, which now made it easier for the little girl to move. Gina blinked in confusion and quickly got up with a snort. She patted the dust off her body, stood in front of her, thought for a moment, and then turned her head to pat her shoulder. Don't worry, I'm here. Jiang Nan. She hadn't figured out what had happened yet, but instinctively pulled the little girl behind her and spoke in a hurry. You're not going to die anymore. What are you rushing into the zombie pile for? Hurry up the slope just now, I can still block it for a while. If it's any later, I won't be able to make it. She had already fallen, but when she pulled on her again, Jinai was also confused. But I'm here to save you. In such a short while, the zombies have already surrounded them, breaking through a safe distance. Jinai didn't explain anymore, just raised her hand with a tight face, opened her fingers, and slowly clenched into a fist. With a loud bang, Several nearby zombies seemed to be invisibly twisted, finally crumpled into a ball and flew backwards. The body smashed onto the hillside, causing a wave of dust to fly. Jiang Nan was dumbfounded. She looked at the white and pure little girl in front of her, then looked at the scene not far away, pursed her lips, and silently took a step back. She felt that she should not affect the big shots anymore. After finishing the nearby ones neatly, Jinai led her and prepared to leave. After thinking for a moment, she controlled the broken hand and flew towards the nearby car, making a mischievous cut. The smell of blood constantly stimulated the zombies, and soon they were surrounded. Jiang Nan's eyes darkened. You. Thank you. The little girl nodded in a reserved manner, took her two steps, and then remembered something. She tilted her head to look at her. Do you want to go and take a look? Staring at her delicate and cute little face, Jiang Nan's mood was somewhat complicated, but in the end, she responded to her own wishes. After finding a safe location to observe Jiang Nan, Jina ran to the side to deal with the dust on her body. Looking down at herself, she wrinkled her nose. Tuanzi, is there water nearby? Yes, adults just follow the arrow. Turning her head to look at Jiang Nan, she confidently followed the arrow and left. Then, circling around, we entered a room. Jinai blinked and hesitated for a moment before taking a step inside. Just as soon as I found the pond and hadn't cleaned myself up, I noticed a figure standing on the opposite bank in a daze. He was wearing black short sleeves and long pants, and his skin was so pale that he could almost see the blue blood vessels beneath his skin. Short hair, covered in dust, hung casually on the forehead, very smooth, complementing delicate facial features. At this moment, he lowered his head slightly, and from Jinai's perspective, the most prominent thing was the slender and curly eyelashes. End of this chapter Chapter 8 The Zombie King is My Younger Brother 8 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 
Chapter 8 The Zombie King is my younger brother 8 He is very good dot looking, which is Jinai's first idea. How can a man have longer eyelashes than me? The little girl let out a low growl and took a step forward. Noticing her movements, the person who had lowered their head turned their gaze slightly and looked at her quietly. Jina's movements suddenly froze. Because those are a pair of zombie-like, gray-white pupils, beautiful yet lifeless. She blinked in confusion. Tuanzi, is he a zombie? How do you feel, different from other zombies? And the breath is inexplicably familiar. But after thinking about it, she couldn't remember whose breath it was, and this world was also her first time, so it was very strange. Guantuan is just a small system that has just left the factory, and is even less familiar with the immortals above. Therefore, it didn't think much and only answered honestly after checking the information. Sir, he is the zombie king of this world. Zombie king. Gina stared at him, a little curious, and leaned in. Are you the leader of this world? Upon hearing her words, the zombie king opened his mouth in a daze, but he didn't make any sound. Gina let out a sigh and asked again. Are you conscious? This time, the other party understood and nodded slowly. She murmured in satisfaction. I'll just say, it should never be the same as those zombies. Upon hearing her words, those grey-white pupils moved, as if pondering something, before slowly opening their lips and making a difficult sound. Ha! Ha! His voice was dry and rough, with a zombie-like roughness, like a person who had been ill for a long time. Oh! So he can understand but cannot speak. The first time she saw the zombie king, Jina was quite curious, especially since he was also very attractive and the most powerful in the world. She planned to say hello. As a result, she hadn't figured out how to cross the river yet, and the person across from her had already turned and left. Gina hesitated for a moment, then leaned forward and waved her hand towards that side. Hey! How did you leave? Don't talk anymore. The only response to her was the slender back of the other person, who was extremely cold. The little girl wrinkled her nose in frustration. Does she look very scary? Thinking of this, she even leaned over to the river and carefully looked at herself. That's right, it's still her appearance. Although it's a bit dusty, she still looks quite cute. Rubbing her cheeks against the river, Gina quickly convinced herself. It must be because it's a zombie, so its aesthetics are not good. With a small snort, she wiped away the dust from her body and left with a glowing ball. Not long after she left, the zombie king slowly returned to his original place, holding several crystal nuclei in his hand. He stared at the other side of the river, his expression somewhat dull, and finally turned into a little bit of grievance. It's gone he liked her taste and even brought over his own rations. After standing by the river for a while, he quietly lowered his eyes and left feeling a bit lonely. When Jina returned to the top of the valley, there was no one below, only a group of zombies wandering aimlessly. Jiang Nan was originally expressionless and lowered her head. Upon hearing the commotion, she instinctively looked at her and then breathed a sigh of relief. Did you come back? Although Jiang Nan knew that the little girl was very talented, she looked too deceptive. Therefore, even if she had just met her, Jiang Nan still regarded her as a little sister. Jina nodded and looked under her eyes in confusion. Did they get rid of it so quickly? She thought she would at least get hurt. Because they have a car, she never thought it would be enough to solve them all at once, but it's also good to help Jiang Nan vent her anger first. Anyway, those people are not good people either. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 The Zombie King is my younger brother 9. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 The Zombie King is my younger brother 9 Upon hearing these words, Jiang Nan's eyes flashed with a hint of disgust. They sacrificed a team member and took the opportunity to leave. She pursed her lips as she spoke, her expression somewhat complicated. That person has already been eaten by zombies. After all, 
she was in the same team. Although we didn't get along well afterwards, watching the people who once despised her being pushed out as a shield, Jiang Nan couldn't explain her emotions. Sympathy is definitely not there, after all, if it weren't for this little girl just now, it would have been her who ended up this way. Thinking that she sighed and didn't want to make such a fuss over Gina's face, she tidied up and asked her. Where are we going next? Jinai nodded her head in confusion and answered according to her words. Go to the Northwest base. The Northwest is relatively desolate, but after the apocalypse, it has become the safest place, at least there is no need to worry about a large dot-scale zombie outbreak. Although not as advanced as the Southeast base, it is also the first choice for many psychics. Therefore, Jiang Nan didn't think much, only subconsciously planned the route and took some time to take a look at her own space. Since Yu Sihui joined the team, she has realized the awkwardness of her situation and has been consciously hoarding supplies during this period. Looking at her relatively full space, she breathed a sigh of relief in her heart, and without hesitation, she took out a bag of potato chips. In her heart, Zynek is more reliable than those who have been together for more than a year. Give her the snacks, and Jiang Nan didn't forget to explain. I have a small space, which should be enough for us to eat for a month. Jina blinked while holding the potato chips in her hand, politely thanked her, and then bit one with a clattering sound, her voice muffled. Don't you eat it. Jiang Nan shook her head and thought to herself that she was indeed a little sister, so she unconsciously lowered her voice. To go to the base, we need to find a car first. There's definitely no nearby car, so we can only see if there's a team passing by later. It's getting late today, let's find a place to stay overnight along this road first. Jina obediently responded. After some thought, I added another sentence. Don't worry, it's safe to follow me. So Jiang Nan saw the little girl finish speaking and then nodded on her own, with a look of you believing me, and that serious snack-eating expression, it was simply too cute. She was stunned for a moment, then smiled. Hmm. Although she didn't know why she saved herself, she was determined to protect this little girl. Thanks to the previous gathering of zombies in the valley, the two walked all the way to the street without being attacked. I carefully wandered around and found a relatively intact store, so I plan to rest here tonight. Jiang Nan locked the door and used a cabinet to block it, leaving only a gap in the window above and covering the rest. Of course, the small door is only fastened, making it convenient for entry and exit, and also leaving a way out. After finishing all of this, she finally relaxed and turned to check if there was any stored water in the store. As I turned around, I found a little girl who had already been found and was coming over with a bucket of water in her arms. Jiang Nan widened her eyes in surprise, and before she could say anything, she heard her muttering softly. Unfortunately, it cannot be heated. From the expression on the young girl's face, it is obvious that she is not satisfied. After all, she is not a true superpower, and Jina also does not have fire-type superpowers. These waters have all caused the light cluster to secretly hang up. There's no way, dirt can't be tolerated, absolutely not. As she pondered, she clenched her small fist with a serious expression. This is a principle. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 The Zombie King is my younger brother 10. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 The Zombie King is my younger brother 10 The invisible light cluster flickered on the side, unconsciously thinking that the principles of its adults were really easy to adapt. Jiang Nan is a bit unsure of what to say. In the apocalypse, there is no electricity, and naturally no water. Fortunately, when encountering a river that has not been polluted by zombies, one can still wash it, and the rest of the time is just passable. Even if there is a water system superpower, it is still precious and stored as drinking water. Who would use it for bathing? Oh, there really is. Seeing the little girl wrinkling her delicate nose, as if you could only take a cold shower, Jiang Nan had become numb. Forget it, she should just hold on to her thighs honestly. After taking a comfortable shower, 
Jiang Nan began to clear out the sleeping area for the two of them. Halfway through the movement, she dug out a small blanket from the space, shook it and spread it on the cardboard box, carefully folding it in half to make it softer. After all this was done, Jinai also rinsed it out. Jiang Nan raised her head when she heard the sound and saw the little girl walking over in a daze, probably feeling sleepy. The dust on the body has been cleaned and looks like a white and tender lump. The hair tips, due to being wet, are casually scattered on the shoulders, making it look younger. As she rubbed her eyes, Jiang Nan quickly pointed. It's already laid out, sleep here. The little girl gave a vague response and quickly got into the small blanket. She rolled around and wrapped herself in a ball, then rubbed her face, feeling satisfied. At least she still remembered her task target, Jinai moved and changed her direction, then looked up and asked her. Why don't you sleep? In the darkness, those round and sparkling eyes clearly showed the doubts in their eyes. Jiang Nan was in a daze for a moment, as if recalling when she was in the team. Since the end of the world, Someone has been on night watch while sleeping to prevent being attacked by zombies or others in the middle of the night. At that time, she had an ambiguous relationship with Chen Yi, and before she could break through that layer of paper, the end of the world had arrived. At first, he would also protect himself in the team like this, when did it change? Is it the arrival of Yu Sihue a year ago, or even earlier? She didn't want to think about the past, so she lowered her head and answered casually. I'm used to it. You don't have to sleep for so long. You can sleep peacefully, I'll stay up late and squint for two hours in the morning. Gina tilted her head in confusion. Watch the night. It's okay, there won't be any zombies approaching with me. After thinking for a moment, he added with a hum. If you don't believe it, then we'll take turns guarding the night. Anyway, you have to sleep. That's what I said but the little girl clearly looks like no one can be more powerful than me. The thoughts in Jiang Nan's mind suddenly disappeared, leaving only emotion and confusion. Finally, she lay down according to the other person's instructions. Jinai nodded her little head in satisfaction and withdrew from the bed. In no time, Jiang Nan heard her steady breathing and murmuring something. She leaned over to listen and found that the other person was still thinking about finding a fire-type superpower to take a hot bath. Laughingly, he pulled a small blanket for her, and Jiang Nan rarely slept soundly in the apocalypse. The next day, Jinai woke up and found that her surroundings were already empty. In front of her was a tightly blocked wooden cabinet, perhaps because she was afraid, all the windows above the door were opened. The bright light rushed in and projected a large spot of light behind her. She sat up and rubbed her eyes, barely waking up. End of this chapter